नमस्कार आई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुप्रीत वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेडोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे डेट इज 28 नवंबर एंड विल सी द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स सो एज वी कंसिडर रेनफॉल इन तमिलनाडु नागापटनम रिसीव्ड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड रिगार्डिंग फॉग कंडीशंस वेरी डेंस फॉग इज ऑब्जर्व एट आइसोलेटेड प्लेसेज एट फ्यू पॉकेट्स इन बिहार and dense fog is reported in isolated pockets of east uttar pradesh regarding highlights of the today's presentation the deep depression over south west bay of bengal is likely to move north north westwards and cross north tamil nadu puducherry coast between karaikal and mahabalipuram around morning of 30th november as a deep depression with a wind speed of 50 to 60 km per hour gusting to 70 km per hour and uh, under the influence of the wav system heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall is likely to occur over north tamil nadu and puducherry on 29th and 30th and over south coastal andhra pradesh and yanam and rail sima on 29th november 2024 so the synoptic system as uh, you all are aware we are tracking the system over bay of bengal and the deep depression over southwest bay of bengal moved north northwestwards and lay centered at 8:30 hours ist of today the 28th november over the same region near latitude 9.1 degree north and longitude 82.1 degree east which is about 110 km east northeast of trincomalee 310 km southeast of nagapattinam 410 km southeast of puducherry and 480 km south southeast of chennai the system is very likely to move nearly north northwestwards skirting sri lanka coast during next 24 hours thereafter it will continue to move north northwestwards and cross north tamil nadu puducherry coast between karaikal and mahabalipuram around morning of 30th november as a deep depression with a wind speed ranging from 50 to 60 km gusting to 70 km per hour there is a possibility of marginal intensification of the deep depression into a cyclonic storm with wind speed 65 to 75 km per hour gusting to 85 km over southwest bay bengal during the evening of 28th november to the morning of 29th november 2024 also a western disturbance is approaching as a trough in middle tropospheric westerlies which is now roughly along 50 degree east to the north of latitude 30 degree north also jet streams of the order 150 knots prevailing over northeast india around 12.6 km above mean sea level now we'll see the minimum temperature scenarios during the past 24 hours so overall there was no significant change in minimum temperatures over most part of the country uh, except the minimum temperatures were appreciably above normal 3 to 5 degree centigrade at isolated places over bihar and they were appreciably below normal around 5 degree centigrade to 3 degree centigrade below normal at most places over marathwada vidarbha and few places over maharashtra madhya maharashtra and telangana and today the lowest minimum temperature of 6.5 degree centigrade is reported at mandla which is in east madhya pradesh if you see the forecast of minimum temperature for next few days no significant change in minimum temperatures over northwest india during 48 hours and then gradual fall by 2 to 3 degree centigrade is forecasted except rajasthan also there is no significant change in minimum temperatures over maharashtra during 24 hours and gradual fall by 2 to 3 degree centigrade thereafter for subsequent 3 to 4 days over uh, the rest part of the countries there is a no significant change is forecasted in minimum temperatures during next 5 days now let's see the subdivision wise weather warning for next 7 days for day 1 that is today 28th november uh, under the influence of the system heavy rainfall is forecasted for the Tamil Nadu especially for the coastal areas and if you see the fog situation fog is forecasted over Himachal Pradesh Haryana Punjab yes east and northern parts of east and west uttar pradesh and northern parts of bihar if you see the date to under the influence system the extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places is forecasted over Tamil Nadu over rail sima and south coastal andhra pradesh along with heavy rainfall over south interior karnataka and kerala also fog condition if you see the same fog warning is continuing for the north west and uh, north central uh, states just like uh, himachal pradesh punjab haryana uttar pradesh and bihar northern parts of bihar and up 
if you see the day three on day three the extremely heavy rainfall warning is given for tamil nadu and uh, very heavy to heavy rainfall which is uh, orange warning is given for south coastal andhra pradesh then uh, rail sima then uh, south interior karnataka and then kerala all these states have orange warning and thunderstorm warnings are given for uh, lakshadweep and telangana also heavy rainfall warning is given for andaman and nicobar islands if you see the fog condition fog condition is forecasted over eastern and western up all this uh, tarai regions of eastern and uh, western uttar pradesh if you see the four day warning same fog warning is in continue for uttar pradesh northern uttar pradesh and if you see the heavy rainfall warning very heavy to heavy rainfall is again uh, orange color warning is given for tamil nadu kerala and south interior karnataka and thunderstorm warning is given for lakshadweep coastal karnataka south interior karnataka and telangana on day 5 that is on 2nd december a heavy rainfall warning is given over kerala and south interior karnataka also on, on lakshadweep over lakshadweep heavy rainfall warning is given and thunder storm is uh, given for almost of the southern peninsula states on 6th heavy rainfall is warning is given only for the lakshadweep and uh, rest of the days uh, over country uh, like day 6 and 7 there is no other warning and uh, for regarding uh, because of the system fishermen are advised not to venture into southwest and adjoining areas of west central bay of bengal gulf of manar and along and off tamil nadu puducherry south andhra pradesh and east sri lanka coast till 30th november evening which is evident from the attached graphics fishermen out at sea at those areas are advised to return to coast immediately thanks for watching for detail weather warnings and forecast please go to our website also don't forget to like comment and share on our social media handles dhanyawad namaskar jai hind